Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Don't Be an Idiot Like Me. Um, <laughs> why do I say this? A while ago, I, uh, I built the uh, module of arithmetic, which is a Euclidean uh, sequencer. Um, yeah, I had all kinds of weird issues. Only two LEDs uh, were lighting up, no, um, no screen. Um, yeah, being not the most adept in uh, um, using Arduino, I assumed uh, it was my issue, tried to reprogram. Um, yeah, I didn't buy any original Arduinos. I bought uh, AliExpress versions, which were uh, a lot cheaper, obviously. Uh, so I came to the conclusion, it must be the Arduino that is a dot. So I changed the new one, similar issues. And after a, a lot of troubleshooting, um, I came to the conclusion that actually the, the screen that I had uh, was a screen with the, the right type, uh, the right name. It only had the, um, the power and the ground reversed. Uh, any of you that follow me on Instagram, um, yeah, might have seen how uh, how I got uh, how I got there and how, how I came to that uh, that conclusion. Um, yeah, um, uh, Linus from uh, um, Modulov actually uh, yeah provided me with some help via uh, via Instagram uh, direct messages. Uh, he actually advised me on on which uh, uh, boards he got or which displays. And now I ended up not with a Arduino clone, but this this is some other um, yeah Arduino equivalent uh, a little board, um, which yeah he told me is is working better. Um, yeah, actually since uh, since the last time, since all my fidgeting with the uh, with the uh, Arduino IDE. Uh, in at Modulov, they actually wrote some code to really just um, uh, flash the firmware with a uh, um, yeah via the browser. Okay, so yeah, this this board you can see it on the screen. It's an Arduino. No, it's not an Arduino. It's the LGT eight F three two eight P board. Um, all the same functionality as a regular Arduino. It just has um, USB-C and um, yeah, a different a different type of bootloader. So now I'm going to try to install the bootloader using the uh, browser-based uh, tool that they provided. Um, okay, so I read this before, but uh, just to make sure. I have that LGT board, the purple one. Well, this is uh, pretty purple. Um, only works on Chrome or Edge. Um, yeah, typically only use those two. Um, no real reason to do any uh, any other ones. Um, yeah, plugged it in. Um, Euclid sequencer. So the same hardware, actually the whole same module can be used as a gate sequencer. I actually tried to flash that firmware on one of the previous ones when I was uh, troubleshooting. Of course, it didn't help because I just broke uh, the screen and the Arduino. But I just uh, tested it. Uh, um, the Arduino is, is broken, but I managed to at least get the gate sequencer on the screen. So I know it works with this hardware, but um, yeah, today I'm not interested in any uh, gate sequencers. I, uh, I have uh, great sequencers. I want to get into this uh, Euclidean uh, uh, triggering. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, yeah, inverted encoder. I actually don't know if my encoder is inverted, but I uh, I count on uh, just having a normal encoder. Um, I'm up for a nano or uh, or the AliExpress version that I had. I needed to use the old bootloader. Um, yeah, all of that's not applicable at this uh, stage. I'm just using the. Uh, L LGBT, LGT 8F uh, version. So it should be as simple as just um, 
yeah, clicking install, it wants to connect to the serial port. Um, it's COM10, I just saw that when I plugged it in for the first time, make a connection. Um, my laptop is set to Dutch since, uh, I don't know, the latest update. Okay, so now it's done. I'm getting some blue flashes. Um, yeah, so that should be it. Trying to just remove the cable. And then, yeah, actually quite cu curious if it, uh, if it works. I'll go, uh, go on and assemble the, the module. Um, and then, yeah, let you know uh, later if it, uh, if it actually works. Uh, thanks so much for uh, for watching. Uh, yeah, if you have any issues with uh, uh, with these modules, make sure to uh, to check uh, to check the site. Um, yeah, my first time with the Arduino IDE was just a, a major pain. Um, this this seems to be a lot easier than finding the port, finding the specific uh, board, uh, compiling the the sketch. It's just a matter of plugging it in downloading the sketch uh, and uh, and and th this should be it so i'll uh, i'll report back later if if it actually worked hey thanks see you next time